to kill you! Thank you for all the fine work! I couldn't get a direct shot. I was gonna have to get creative. It was a waste of bullets. His cover was too good. Give Rodrigo my regards! This was the passkey to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know! Everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Victor, I was wondering when you'd reappear out of whatever slimy hole you live in. <laughs> I'd like to just say, Max, I just want to say thank you for all your hard work my family and for cleaning up that horrible mess with the Casha Preto for us. You know I'm tough on crime. I give you a bonus, but I think you just fritter it away. Becker, take his gun. They had barred the door. My only hope was to chase them down. I knew they'd be leaving town, and my guess is they would try to fly out of here. Rich people love to fly away. God damn it! Okay, Max. Now you check the main terminal. I'm gonna go and look for the Bronco plane by the hangar, okay? Let's do it. You keep an eye out in there. You know Becker's gonna have some guys in there watching out for you. Yep. So, of course, I knew they were looking for me. But the airport was about the only place a fat gringo might blend in. Well, there or a sex club. Hey. Hey. My delusions of disguise lasted around two seconds. They were out in force. And they were out for me. But then, I was out for them, too. Every last one of those bastards.
felt like my vacation was coming to an end. Only I wasn't heading home with a sunburn, a bag full of duty free, and a dose of VD. I was making a bet that would put me in handcuffs or a body bag. These were Becker's guys. Him and Victor had a private airport to go with their private army and their private jet. The doors lead in the direction of the main terminal. The customer restroom. I could get through to the departure gates up ahead. There were Ufe all over the airport and civilians were being moved out. Looking at it one way, shutting down the airport for their escape was a weird sort of compliment, but one I didn't need.
grenades. your lounge. They weren't here. I had to keep moving down through the airport. terminal was down the escalators.
didn't look like there'd be any trams leaving until the power was on. Airports always made me nervous. It worked. The trams were running again. Maybe they'd take me to my gate. Maybe they'd bring more guys wanting to whack me. Maybe both. I felt like I might be able to recharge for a second. At least until we pulled into the station and met more murderous assholes. Son of a bitch! It didn't work out like that. Of course, there'd be a tram full of goons trying to derail me. of the ticket for the Max Payne Express. out on the joke, and it was a real good one. The 
time was slowing down, and I'd only just gotten on board. I had to salvage what I could and see what was waiting for me. This was my stop. It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. I'll put a big shit-eating grin on my face and let these assholes take turns trying to kill me. That's my style, and it's too late in the day to hope for change. Boy, were they throwing numbers at this problem. But then, I'd chosen to be here. I wanted this. Was it redemption? Not really. It was pathetic desperation, and not much else. The further in I got, the more guys I saw. Becker wasn't running a police force. He was running an army. These guys were better trained and better equipped than anyone I'd seen out here. And I'd seen some mean sons of bitches. The mission was screaming suicide, but I didn't give a damn. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. <coughs> there the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I ain't got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! 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 This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent-a-clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized 
They were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. One card left to play. Just get me close. Whoa. Look, there's a whole team of them. I swag. The car! Come on! We've got a flight to catch. It's not going to take off without me. I don't know how much more we can take. That sums it up. They're blocking the runway. Ah! Of course they have their arm and personal vehicle. Get ahead! I normally am behind the gas kind of car. Only I've been one of them too. Country. Don't worry, borders closed. Enjoy a trial and a spell in prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I'll walk. You'll walk with a lift! Local justice. Local residents expressed 